I have some time before I have to start filming again because <laughs> been asking me to do a get ready with me my first day of work um I am back in Atlanta um I know in my last vlog I was in Sacramento training so I've worked out there but this is my first day of work in Atlanta so I wanted to show you guys how I get ready for work because it's not like a normal job y'all know I work for well if you don't know I work for a plastic surgery office um and they want us to be really 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 super cute for work not like normal like go into the office like this attire like they want you to be like really cute fashion forward kind of sexy but not slutty there's a fine line so i want to be sexy but i gotta keep my titties up if that makes sense like i can't just be having my titties like how I usually be having my titties out, um, but still sexy. Does that make sense? I actually was gonna start filming this video last night, so I installed this wig last night. It's a U-part wig. I put it in my head last night, and I thought I was gonna do like a two-part thing. Like it was gonna be a one video, but I was gonna put my do my hair last night and then just wake up and do my makeup today and get dressed and show y'all that. But I'm gonna show y'all the whole thing because in real life, like. I wouldn't do, I was only doing that for the video. In real life, like I would wake up and do my hair. Since I got my job, I've been getting a lot of questions from y'all um, asking me what it is that I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain it to y'all. So basically when I applied for the job, I applied for a position called the patient care coordinator. Um, so basically I would be speaking to people who do their virtual, con after they, after the surgeon reviews people's pictures, like from virtual consultations, or even after you do a regular consultation, like come in to see the doctor, although most of them are virtual right now because we live in a post pan we're living in like a pandemic type of world. So almost everything is virtual, but even if you come in person, like I would be the person who you talk to if you have any questions about the surgery, um, how much it costs, helping you get financing if you can't afford to pay for it all in one sitting, like I'm basically the person that does like the selling of the surgery, but not in a way of like, you know, like I'm trying to push you. Like we don't, the place that I work at, like, it's not like that. If you don't want the surgery, you just don't want the surgery. If you want the surgery, then I'm here to help you, you know, make your dreams come true. Your body dreams come true. Cause we live in a world of BBLs right now. So that's mostly the customer that I talk to want BBLs. Um, so that is the job that I apply for. But then if you're not a, when you're a patient care coordinator, you also have an assistant. So it's a patient care coordinator assistant. So basically after the patient care coordinator, it's called a PCC. Basically after the PCC sells the surgery or whatever, the assistant takes care of all the paperwork. So all the docu-signs that I need. So all the contracts that needs to be sent over, the PCCA sends that over. And when it's time to collect the rest of the payment from like the patient, that's what the PCCA does. Basically like the paperwork side and then the PCC deals with the selling side. So I applied to be the PCC and when they called me, they were like, we do want you to be a PCC, but we're scared because we don't want to throw you to the rule to the wolves because it's like such like a demanding job. Um, so you might want to be a PCCA first and then become a PCC after you see like what all they have to do. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know, if the person interviewing me is basically saying like, this is a very demanding job. Apparently like the location I work at, the goal is to make $750,000 um, a month. They're like, you know, it's very demanding. We don't want to just throw you to the wolves because like, you know, if we are consistently not making goal, like, it falls on the PCCs. Like the PCCA ain't gonna get in trouble like that because really all we're doing is the paperwork in. Um, but after doing my training, um, I want to be a PCC. I don't. I 
after I had done did my interview, I was like, you know, well then I'll do I'll be a PCCA first, especially because I was like, you know, I have my YouTube. I don't want no job that's like super stressful and gonna stress me out because I still have to come home and do this at the end of the day because actually this right here is my main job. But when I did my training, I actually mostly shadow PCCs, not PCCA. So mostly I was doing consultations, speaking to patients and stuff like that. So now that I'm back in Atlanta, and from what I'm hearing in Atlanta, everybody in the office basically do the selling. They just, we just all get paid different things. But now that I've shadowed PCCs, that's what I want to do. So um, I'm not going to call my boss back immediately and be like, oh, I want to be a PCC. I don't want to be a PCCA. I know that you said that you didn't want to throw me to the wolves, but I just kind of feel like... The, re the whole reason why I even wanted a job was to interact with people, and that's what PCCs do. Not to say a PCCA is a bad job, it's just that I I know that they were, like, trying to, like, you know, they was, like, they, I know that they, you know, were saying that they didn't want to just put me in this very demanding role, but I actually feel like I'll do great in the role, so I am going to go back and be, like, after a couple weeks, I'll be, like, you know, now that I've been in the office for this long, I, I don't think that a PCC is too demanding for me. Um, I appreciate you looking out, but I want to be a PCC. Hopefully they say yeah, y'all. So fingers crossed. I haven't really seen a bunch of questions about my job. Mostly y'all ask like what I do. Um, and that, that's what I do. The thing though with the Atlanta office is basically from what I'm hearing, because pretty much everybody is new that everybody's kind of doing the same thing. So pretty much everybody in, in the Atlanta office is a PCC anyway. Nobody is, everybody does their own paperwork. Everybody does their own selling. Um, as long as that location is making $750,000 a month, like they don't really care who's doing the selling as long as the selling is getting done. But if you have the title of PCC, you do get commission. So it's like, I don't want to do the job of a PCC and not get the commission, if that makes sense. It's not, I mean, I don't think it's a lot of commission. Um, it's not a high percentage of commission, but it's still commission. Like it's commission off of, you know, if we're making our goal of $750,000 a month, sometimes like the office can make upwards of a million dollars a month making commission on that. It's like I said, it's not a high percentage, but it is commission off of almost a million dollars. So, um, yeah, I, I think that I want to be, especially after my training, I think I'm going to ask if I can be a PCC. So y'all wish me luck. Because if she say no, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> oh, also, I'm not sure who lives in the Atlanta area. I know that we're looking for a front desk person. We would prefer someone who speaks Spanish. So if y'all know somebody who speaks Spanish and wants to work front desk at a plastic surgery office, let me know. It is very good pay. Um, the health care is paid for 100% by the company. And also... Um, you get free plastic surgery. Unlimited. It's not like, oh, you can get one plastic surgery. You just get free plastic surgery. So it's a really good position. Um, you don't have to speak Spanish. That's what we prefer. If you speak Spanish and you meet all the other qualifications, you will probably get the job, though. But if we can't find somebody that speaks Spanish and meets all the qualifications, then we will have to go with somebody who doesn't speak Spanish. So if y'all know somebody that speak of the espanol let me know i feel like the dress that i'm putting on today is very boring which is why i chose hair on my first day that looks like this i'm probably only gonna wear my hair like this for like one or two days because i am actually i only got a few more um wig videos to do i think i have after this one i think i have four more wig videos left to do um and then that is it for me when it comes to wig videos i'm gonna film the rest of them in one day because i just can't i'm ready to get it over with because i'm not gonna be now that i'm starting a job i'm not gonna be able to work nine to five monday to friday and then come home and then also film a hair video and then edit it and then put put it up in a in a good amount like i just i know that this is going to stress me out so in a couple days, I am probably going to film all four hair videos, four or five. I have a few hair videos left. I'm probably going to film the rest of the four hair videos, um, edit them so that, you know, 
everything else that I have to do for YouTube is pretty much just like vlogging. And then I can do random story times when I feel like it, but without like the pressure of having to submit like a hair video, it can just be a story time like just for you guys. So yeah. And then like in my next vlog, I can't wait to let you guys know like how I feel about hair sponsorships. Like I've been wanting to film that video for a long time where I'm kind of letting y'all know how I feel about like hair sponsorships, but I just felt like it's not, it's not all bad, but a lot of it is. And I feel like it's not appropriate to film that video while I'm installing hair from a hair company. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is because I do these wig videos so much, like I'm putting too much tension, pressure, and heat on my head every other day. So I'm really like trying to rush to finish these hair videos because I want to go and be able to like get my hair professionally done every couple of weeks, especially to get like my leave out to grow back out. My leave out is right here and my leave out was right here, like eight, six, seven, eight months ago. But when I started doing crazy hair videos, like now my leave out is like all the way up here. Um, and I mean, it's not nothing I'm freaking out about. Somebody had um, commented on one of my videos and was like, oh, you need to um, do a closure or something because your leave out is drying, is dying. I'm like, first of all, y'all be real comfortable on this internet to say like whatever you want under people's shit. And then when somebody like says something back to you and you're like, oh my God, why would you say that? Um, and second of all, like it's just hair. My leave out can burn off completely. It's not this serious. It's gonna grow back like it always do. It's like the first time I burned off my leave out. When I take care of my hair, it grows back. It's it's literally not that serious. It's not that serious. But I, I do want to get my hair um to a to a good point again. And I can't do it when I have a hair video that's due every other day. Um, so that's another reason why I need to stop. One, I don't have the time. And two, I just want to get my hair done. I'm tired of doing my hair every five minutes. Literally tired. But yeah, the vlog that I am going to be filming probably um, starting, probably starting like next weekend because I have some time before I have to start filming again because... Girl, I don't even know what I was saying to my audience. Like, I can't even, like, talk right now because I'm so, like, my heart is racing. It's too early for this shit. All right, so now that my girlfriend has scared me half to death, I'm going to do my makeup. I can't talk while I do my makeup, to be honest with you, because, huh? Oh, I cannot do my makeup. Um, I can't do my makeup while I talk. Well, I can, but it's going to take forever, and I really do have to go. So, I'm going to do a really quick beat. This is going to be what I do every day for work. Quick and easy, nothing crazy. Time's been moving slowly, so we are ready. Outfit. 
I have to go and drop my puppy off at daycare and I am running late, extremely late. And I don't want to be late for my first day of work. So thank you guys for tuning into this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.